Hey, hello, hello everyone. Happy Thursday. This is Andre Jordan of 96.3 Easy Rock. Go relaxing music mix. And people, welcome in to yet another rendition of Easy Rock plugged in, all right? We're in the booth this time, not upstairs in the uh, digital studio, but this is just as nice, man. It feels like home down here, right? Now, Easy Rock plugged in. This is the program where we sit down and talk to some of your favorite artists, favorite performers, and... Uh, Get a nice little special treat, perhaps, in studio. So today we are actually talking to someone who is up and coming, debuting, if you might say. And I'm super excited to talk to this person because, truthfully, I'm genuinely, sincerely entertained by this person. So join me, everybody, in welcoming our special guest in studio, Aaron Maniego. Is that how you... Hi, Aaron. Yes, sir. Hello. Aaron Maniego. Right. Good evening, by the way. Good evening. So how would you... How do you officially pronounce... Well... Uh, according to a lot of people, it's Aaron, but it's also Aaron. Like, but like, so there's a, like a certain market that call me calls me a Aaron. A Aaron, and I'm kind of traumatized by that. Well, but we love that you know, though, right? It's I. It's I. Yeah, we're we that. How are you, by the way? Generally speaking, are you? Are you? I'm feeling amazing. It's a bit cold right now it since is. it's raining really hard. It is. But you know, we got we just gotta need someone to cuddle with. Okay. Already straight to it, <laughs> straight to it. Five minutes in, but no. Do you prefer? I was. I wanted to ask. You prefer the rainy days or warm summer beach weather? Honestly, I prefer the medium ground. Okay. So it's like not too sunny, but like just perfect. Just right. You know, I'm. I'm like the th the third bear in the three bears. Really, I, I. For some reason, you came across to me, or just knowing very limited amount about you, mm. through your online persona, lang naman. You came across as a beach type person really? for some reason, well, while you also being a city, city. You lover. think I'm a beach? No, no, no. A beach person? lover. Beach oh, lover. beach Let's lover. Let's get the record straight. Mm. A beach lover, but not a son of a. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, honestly, I just love everything. You know. Yeah. Life yeah. is good. Life is. Life good. is good. I agree. I agree. But let's yeah. let's get to it. Straight to the questioning. You're obviously you have this whole TikTok thing going on. Yes, sir. And um, the reason you're here is, we'll get to it. But what inspired you to start? creating content on TikTok? Honestly, I started my TikTok page during the pandemic. Uh -huh. So 2021, I was a fresh graduate from college in 2020. I didn't know what to do with life because of the pandemic. And then 2021 came, I did commercial modeling. It did really well. And it was only late 2021 that I started having this branding. And they mm. called me the Pambansang Bortang Barbie mm -hmm. because I would usually speak like this. this is what and then... Me like coming like that. It's code switch. That's what I was saying this entire yeah. time. But code switch was well, super entertaining. Thank you. And it's um, did you ever anticipate that your TikTok presence, your you know online presence, would ever grow to this much? I mean, over two million hmm. by this point, right? Like, did you ever? How did you handle all of that? Like, by the way, uh, I cried every night. No, I'm kidding. No. Oh my god. But honestly. I've been dreaming about this mm -hmm. even before. So while I was posting TikTok content, I, I, I wanted to have a lot of people to view me, right? So if you can say I manifested all of okay. this. Because funny story, back in November 2021, I told myself I'm going to get my first million followers by same time next year. So a year but apart. It, didn't even, it, it wasn't even four months and then boom, one million, yeah. right? Because of that one, it, it just takes one video to post on social media for you to be recognized. Well, I love that. I love that you spoke it into existence because when you speak it into existence, you sort of give yourself a deadline. Yes. You parang pressure mo sarili mo na hmm. to really work towards it. Yeah. But I love that energy from you, by the way. And um, we, I mean, you're a complete natural, first and foremost. Thank like, you. You really are a natural. And um, well, I mean, now that you're, you spoke of one million, now you're two million. I mean, hmm. how, does, how does that feel? Does it feel different reaching a million and now over two? Honestly, if it will be controversial if I say no, okay. But it's still such a blessing uh -huh. because there there are times where there are challenges with it, right? Of because course. there will come a time that a number of people will talk bad negatively about mm -hmm. you, even though they've never met you. And I've encountered a few of that uh, throughout the years. Yeah. And it's just navigating the world of entertainment, social media, while still keeping your authenticity, mm -hmm. because. Being a content creator, you have to accommodate your audience, but at the same time, you accommodate them by being yourself. Yeah. So there's this, there's this di distinction, there's this contrast yeah, yeah, yeah. that you have to navigate through. And I think I'm starting to navigate through it with my current branding, which is interview content. Yeah. Hmm. I saw that. I, and again, that's the one I'm actually, 
well, I, before this, I said you spoke well, and that was the re- primary reason why. It was because of uh, interview, interviews that you do on the mm. street and stuff. And also, I love that you mentioned about authenticity because you actually, you really do have to stay true to at least a little bit of yourself, yeah. even though you want to sh- appear a certain way for the cameras and whatnot. Yeah. Now. But what um, on your own time, though, what kind of content do you personally enjoy creating the most? We'll do watching and creating, consuming Ooh. and creating. So we'll start off with the creation bit. Together. So I like creating my current... So before, I like doing the Bortang Barbie videos. Uh-huh. I loved it, actually. It would just be like, I'm just basically having fun with my life. I'm, I get to meet these different kinds of people. Yeah. And it translated into my interview content because I'm a very social person. I love interacting with people, going to events, making new friends. So with the interview content, it's like already a source of conversation. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, you know that you get to know this person deeper. You get to know their friends. It's just like uh, the it's like the dream of any sociable person. Right, right. Yeah. Any people person, right? With regards to what you currently like creating though, like mm. now, do you still... Is that something you still want to go, go well, back to? Well, honestly, yes. Because aside from being a content creator, I want to delve deep into hosting, performing, uh-huh. okay. and basically just public speaking. Because mm-hmm. I feel like a good skill of mine that yeah, I've learned throughout the years and I've developed this is public speaking. Um, along those lines, though, why do you think um, your, the, the certain fan base or following the support group that you've grown throughout this journey of yours how come they're so into the content that you're able to produce I think it's because well before in Bored and Bar- as Bored and Barbie they found me very entertaining mm-hmm. and uh, I didn't actually I didn't know why they found it funny because it's like my day to day oh please life. come on everyone it's my day to day life so well you're, that just goes to show that you're a funny person in general thank you yeah. I appreciate that and uh, I think with my interview content right now, it still translates as like the Bortang Barbie aspect of like very fun, very flirty. And it just so happens I have some eye candy next mm-hmm. to me. And I think what my interviews, uh, what makes my interview stand, in, what make my interview stand out is that the, is the banter between me and the person I'm interviewing with. I'll, I'll, I'll actually, I'm inclined to agree. I actually mm. love the, 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 the different dynamics you have with all these different people that you yeah. interview. It's actually, you know, super entertaining. Um... But how did you decide to make the leap now? Let's 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 shift now to what the reason why you're here. Mm. You're going to music, right? Yes. How did you decide to make the leap from being a content creator on TikTok or just a content creator in general to now pursuing this new field, this new space, this new industry? Honestly, it's not that new to me because before I was a content creator, I was a musician. Okay. So back in high school, I would be in choir. And in college, I was actually an indie performer where I would go to small bars in Malate. And then I would perform my own original songs and just with my keyboard. Okay. Like, I didn't care about the audience at first. I just like, I wanted to push music, but the pandemic happened. Mm. But it just so happened that when one door closed, another window yep. opened, which was content creation. And with that, I feel like I'm at a point in my time, in my career right now where I also want to do something that's like completely me. Okay. The interview content is also a part of me, but like there are so many facets towards yeah. who I am and music is a really big part of that. Yeah, that's that's actually so cool. You mentioned when one door closes, another opens. Yeah. And with that door opening, you entered and now you basically opened the windows. Yes, the basically, yeah, basically. Right? Yeah, it's a perfect analogy. I want to do something fun with you. I want to play a little game with you, if that's cool. Aaron. Absolutely. I love Let's games. Let's play uh, this or that. You know this or that? Yes, Basically, sir. I'll make you choose between two options and you tell me why. All right. Let's go. First one here. You prefer to sing or dance? Oh, I want to do both, but I yeah, think... gun to your head. Oh, gosh. Sorry to make it dark. I like singing uh-huh. more than dancing, but when it, when it comes to that, I'm more used to singing than uh-huh. I am with dancing. I only started uh, training my dancing skills recently. Recent? So when I would perform for out of town gigs, I would mm. do uh, song and dance num- song and dance numbers. Yeah, so I really like that. So I like you, So you would say dance really? Whenever whenever I perform, it would always be like a full production. Yeah. That's why I always take into consideration lights and and the sounds of course, yeah. singing, dancing, all of it. Everything, right? Yeah. All the elements. And uh, that that just goes to show you're super thorough. I'm the Ang the Avatar. <laughs> yeah, you are, you are, you are. Um, oh, this is actually similar to the one I asked you, uh, our opener. Mm. You prefer sunrises or sunsets? Ooh, I like sunsets because I'm not a morning person. Mm. So the only time you'll see me 
during a sunrise is when I'm about to go to bed. You know <laughs> oh, what I mean? So you're a night owl. You're a night I owl. am a night owl. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, this is also similar to the to the opener we had. You prefer the city or the beach? It's tough. Mm. It's tough for some to choose. Honestly, do you, do you believe that like the energy of a place will affect you? Well, I think it engulfs you sometimes. Either yeah. Way, to that so like, I prefer the beach because. It, it gives you positive energy okay right but when it comes to the city there's like so many people yeah. all happening at once and sometimes it gets overwhelming yeah that's true it could get overwhelming you, mm. you sort of roll the dice when you're in the city yeah. you could get bad vibes any day but then the next day you yeah. get you know some good juju right and honestly i live in the mountainside i live i live in antepolo oh really so i live in the suburbs area so the city is like like an hour drive away yeah so that's I, i'm kind of oh, fine with that the views are great huh? the views are amazing right? yeah you have to go sometime I I sh- I actually might. I really mm. I went once. Sorry, just mm. to not to go astray with the conversation. All right, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just uh, I, I just recall. Um, do you work out? I love working out. Okay, well, do you prefer leg day or arm day? Leg day, dude. Why is that? Because like all the guy. I think if every guy were in the same position, they would say, "Oh, arm day, bro." Right. Right. I like chest, chest arms, shoulders, but no legs. <laughs> do you know? It's scientifically proven. When you work out your legs, your testosterone increases. Is it really? I'm yeah, gonna have to because, fact check that. I mean, I yeah. trust you. It's just it's scientifically proven. Just Google it. Just don't, d- d- just don't credit me <laughs> okay. about that. But yeah, it's like the more you work out your legs, the stronger the stronger you get, because like it's different. It's basically your lower yeah, entire that's lower where half it starts right the energy. And who wouldn't like a nice ass? Right. You know what I mean? I I agree. Um, not sure if we're supposed to say that. But oh, sorry. No, 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 no. That's sorry. Cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> we're, we're okay. We're okay. Um, you prefer? Okay, so this is this this one's tough for for influencers, content creators, TikTok or Instagram. Hmm. Right now, I prefer TikTok because, because I don't know. I just find I just I just find it uh, so lighthearted. Okay. Because with Instagram. There's this, you know, the thing that sometimes you low-key compare yourself to other people. Yeah. It's like... It's Instagram. Sometimes it's hard that you get... Because social media is such a curated reality yeah. of a person. It's not their complete reality. Of it's such. Not. It's so highly curated. And it's more prevalent. Like, I love Instagram, but it's also prevalent that it's more common that you can... As opposed to... T- in comparison to TikTok. In comparison right? to TikTok, yeah. where it's just like you doing whatever you yeah. want, yeah. right? I get that. I get that. So TikTok for now. TikTok, yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Well, that was a fun uh, little. I uh, know. Can we go back to the line of questioning now? Yes. Because sir. I really want to talk about this latest single of yours, Takip Silim, mm-hmm. right? Could you walk us through your creative process when you, when you wrote Takip Silim? You know, how, how did the song even come to life at all? So uh, the thing is, early this year, my friend and producer uh, JFM approached me and said, "Hey, do you want to make a song together?" I'm like, "Yeah." So uh, he. He, along with Wonder Boy Travis, produced it and wrote uh, wrote the lyrics with my concept. So with all of that, this song was basically an ins- inspired by the loss of my sister last okay. year. So my sister died from pediat- uh, no, pediatric cancer, sorry, from ovarian cancer okay. last year. Sorry, and uh, thank you. And at that point in time, I didn't really know who I was okay. anymore because my identity was so closely related to my sister that I am. Anissa's little brother, mm. right? So when all of that happened, I had like an ego death, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I was going through this process of getting to, to rekindle with who I am. And it just so happened that the opportunity present was presented that I could make a song. And I told you a while ago that I love, I love making music. I was a musician even before. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, maybe this is the opportunity for me to find that spark again with music. And it just so happened that I got blessed with it, That's and so now I'm awesome. here with you. That's so awesome. I mean, I love that it stems from. I mean, obviously the tragedy, of course, mm. but even just the identity crisis bit. Like that's who would have thought, even right? Mm. Um, but along those lines, how did you decide on the musical style, sort of, and the and the tone to match the emotions behind the songwriting and mm. the, just the song in general? How did you? How were you able to match the tone and the music style? Well, with the Kipsilim. JFM asked me some reference uh, songs that I really like. So I like those kind of dark songs, yeah, the yeah. things that you would listen to when you're when you're just like alone by yourself and when you're overthinking. I just wanted to be like that, and I wanted to have like a story behind it. Yeah, yeah. So with the song, it's like 
they're co- there's like a major part there, with major chords and then it'll transcend into something that has minor chords that's very dark like very monstrous and robotic mm-hmm. uh, uh, vocal effects and it, it'll come back to that because the concept and the story I want to show with Takip Silim is that just as even though the negativity in your life the depression the anxiety comes back fiercely yeah. there will be a point in time that just as the sun sets the sun will rise again you will get to feel joy and yeah. happiness and all the good things in life as long as you wait for it well that's that's beautiful and, and you sort of hinted at it but how did the song itself creating the song and now really living the song how did that help with the healing process if at all it helped you with the healing process it honestly really did yeah. because when I launched the song in June 9 which was my I uh, hosted a birthday concert which was also a fundraising concert mm-hmm. for Bahay Aruga for pediatric cancer patients okay. because I wanted my first concert to be dedicated to my sister okay. because it was fairly recent bef- since she passed and I was still feeling everything yeah. so I think It really genuinely helped me because my family was such a big support system for that and they went to the concert and I brought them up on stage and then we cried and it was just such a beautiful moment and it really helped me figure things out. That's so cool how you brought everything together in this event that where you give back to the community as well. Mm. Sorry, excuse me. But that's that's actually so um, admirable. And But what's next for you? I mean, moving forward, now as a musician, your music journey, and as a content creator, hmm. are there anything ex- exciting or any exciting projects or directions that we can look forward to with regards to your journey now as you know this entity? Hmm. Well, my goal right now is to be a musician, host, content creator, just a hybrid of everything. So expect more interviews, expect oh, yeah. more so- singles from me that also showcases different aspects of my personality and uh, I'll also be uh, I'll be releasing a song soon let's go, let's go. but for is now is this breaking news because that, I would really appreciate a that a bit yeah, yeah I'll yeah, be releasing a song soon yeah but for now I'm still posting a lot of content okay. I'm actually posting a uh, uh, launching a new online talk show on YouTube Ooh. which is called First Date Diaries. So for the interview content that they usually do on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, it's like just a just like a base level of what people okay. can okay. know but with First Date Diaries, it's like I literally go on a date and get to know a guy. Oh lord, that's interesting. Yeah. A nice concept. Mm. That's a really exciting concept. I might, I'm really I might tune into that. That's awesome. Thank you. Now what message would you share now? For those who are going through, you know, the same tragedies you went through, loss and heartache and uh, these types of feelings. I have a lyric in the song and it says sa paglipas itoy huhupa na. Okay. Whenever you whenever you're experiencing the emotions that you have right now, just feel it, acknowledge it and talk talk to that. Talk to your emotions right now. And because you are not your emotions, you get to feel it, but there will be times and there are times where you will it will pass. That's and awesome. it'll come back yeah. the joy well because so many are so quick to just avoid and mm. not even address the yes. human emotions but now lastly I'm gonna leave you the uh, microphone to invite anyone to uh, support you stuff like that promote your latest single social media any upcoming re- uh, events releases and uh, projects all right so hi guys once again my name is Aaron Maniego you can find me on YouTube TikTok Facebook Instagram but like I hope you guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well because I will be posting first date diaries there where I will go deep in depth uh, interviews with some cute boys that I've already interviewed who knows but stay tuned for that and you can also um, Check out my Spotify page, Aaron Maniego, where I will be releasing my next single. So, oh, so stream, please stream Takip Silim. I'd love it if you do. Wow. Do that, guys. All DSPs. We're actually, you're supposed to give a little sample, no? All right. Right? Okay, okay. so I'm going to wrap this up, people. And uh, I'm going to leave you with Aaron Maniego. So thank you all for joining. Those of you that tuned into this uh, episode of Easy Rock Plugged In, before I go, I'm going to leave you with these words. My name is uh, Andre Jordan of 96.3 Easy Rock. Don't go changing. Don't go chasing. Keep your close friends close, but your enemies closer as you. Remember someone tonight with Takip Siling, all right? All right. So this is a cappella version? Okay. 
Ninanakaw bawat oras, tumatakas sa nakalipas Alay sa akin ng aninag, sandaling di may paliwanag Gumugulo, gumugulo, ang paligid, ang paligid ko Nagtatanong, nagtatanong, anong bang pinaglalaban ko Sa pagsapit, takip silim, paglubog ng araw aking hahamakin Sa kupain, manalangin, mga bu- sa saan saan ay palayain Bala la 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 Bala la 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 Bala la 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 Mga bosa saan saan ay palayain